TikTok banned me. TikTok banned me permanently. Why? Too handsome. No. For what I do on my show, literally, videos like these. Take a look. The closure of Rafah was not just about mm -hmm. the closure of one of the vital, you know, humanitarian aid access points. Forcing this kid to run on a treadmill keeps increasing the speed. The kid falls, father picks him up, makes him keep running, running, running. Now she's suing the drug manufacturer, first lawsuit of its kind in the United States, claiming she became permanently disabled after one shot of the vaccine. The reality is, is I am in pain every second of every day. Look, they have a problem with what's said about COVID, long COVID, vaccine injuries, the Middle East, okay? People are playing politics with freedom of speech. We appealed to restore the account. They said no. After further review, your account will remain permanently banned or due to a violation of our integrity and authenticity policy. Integrity and authenticity. So that didn't work. I sent them a response saying, clearly this isn't a human being making this determination because you'd have to be crazy to censor a journalist with a major platform on American media. But that's exactly what you've done. And I look forward to litigating this all the way through. We reached out to the company and just like magic, the account is back. But the point remains, let me bring in my producer, Isabel McCauley. OK, she deals with TikTok for me on a regular basis. She flagged this. Thank you for doing this, Isabel. Yeah. Um, extending your job description to come on TV. <laughs> Tell people why you think this happened and what it means. Yeah, well, you weren't just banned for violating their policies. You were banned specifically for the integrity and authenticity, which I think is hilarious. We watched the clip of all of those videos we just played were videos that were on your TikTok that were flagged and originally removed. So the first time I saw them remove a video from your TikTok, it was the Corey child that was on the treadmill who was being badly abused. And I understood that one. I thought, you know, that's child abuse. And I understand why they wouldn't want that played on TikTok. Instagram left it up. Uh, X left it up, but TikTok removed it. And then every video after that, besides one that was Gaza, was COVID vaccine, um, COVID symptoms, but really, really the vaccine. And now we know your reporting. I know it well, and we know it well on TikTok. And Chris, you're always kind of letting people tell their stories, but you're trying to leave it to the audience to decide. But the way TikTok interpreted the videos we were putting up is that it was misinformation. That's why they removed your account for misinformation. Now, what's interesting is all of this falls under violating community guidelines. That's why they removed all of those videos. That's why they banned you. But now that they've reinstated your account, they've also re-uploaded every video that they took down originally. So somehow, all six of those videos that were removed before now do not violate community guidelines. Yeah, so we think it's an algorithm, right? And you sent me uh, these hashtags of how people have to write different words to get around them. Yeah. What is that about? Yeah, so it, sometimes what we do is intentionally misspell keywords so that we can get away with using certain words like death or war or lockdowns, kill, vaccine, COVID. So you can see in, in these stills that we're showing that when you say the word COVID, we'll just use a, a zero instead of an O. And for whatever so reason... So we do that? We do That's that. what you do? I do that when I post your videos. So what happened is I was doing that for your COVID videos. I was spelling it C0VID, vaccine with an at sign instead of with an A. But I was out of town for six days. And the team was just mm. simply posting the same videos to TikTok that they were posting to Instagram and to Twitter, thinking that it would be OK. But it wasn't. Because we weren't using those little workarounds, four videos in the mm. six days that I was gone were removed. And that resulted in your ban. Isabel, I love it. Uh, and I love that people get to see what it is that makes the show good. You know, you've got Dusty, Isabel, you've got a whole team of great producers uh, here that do our best. I got one suggestion, though. We're not going to use the coded language anymore. We're going to write the regular language, let them flag us, and let's have the fight. Isabel McCauley, thank trouble. you for the job. I know I just made it harder, but thank you very much. I appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.